I'm Denver 7 meteorologist Steve Roldan. Spring is here, which means we're going to see a lot more scenes like these over the next couple of weeks. And here in Colorado, that also means a warmer temperatures, melting snow, and yes, allergy season. And we could be in for a rough start to that season, and it all has to do with our weather. Now, all the snow we saw at the end of last week is good news when it comes to our water supply. Not so good news when it comes to the itchy eyes and runny noses. That's because all the snow is going to help the grasses, trees, and shrubs green up very quickly. The first one to hit is the tree pollen, which can stick around right through the month of May. And then there's the grass pollen, which typically peaks in the month of June. I spoke to Dr. Mark Montano at Health One here in Denver, and he says preparing now is the key to beating the pollen in the air. Do not wait until symptoms are at their worst. I, I recommend strongly start early. It is okay. These medicines uh, that are over the counter are nasal steroids, are nasal antihistamines, uh, ophthalmic antihistamines and our oral antihistamines. They're safe to take throughout the allergy season. So don't feel like I have to wait until I'm really bad and then hit them. I would say start early, keep those symptoms at a minimum uh, throughout the allergy season. Definitely some advice to live by. Aside from taking medications, here are a couple things you can do around your home. Keep your windows closed during peak pollen time. That's usually between 2 p.m. and 9 p.m. Don't go outside during peak times as well. Change your clothes if you're doing any type of outdoor activities and take a shower so that the pollen doesn't go with bed to bed with you. Dr. Montano tells me this time of year, a lot of people wonder if they're experiencing allergies or something worse. The common cold can mimic allergy symptoms and a good way to tell is if you have a fever, that's probably not allergies. Allergies don't lead to a fever. So if you're running the temperature, you should probably consider seeing a doctor. Reporting in the studio, I'm Denver 7 meteorologist, Steve Roldan.